The Paradigm, a really special and iconic character as part of Fortnite's storyline, and also a really clean skin. Along with being a part of arguably one of the most crucial and important groups of the entire storyline of Fortnite Island, she actually seems to be causing most of their problems. Whilst also coming back in a new form to save us all, I know, it sounds weird and confusing and a little bit muddled, but it'll be explained. With the seventh end goal being to save Reality Zero, end the loop, and finally rebel against the Imagined Order, you'd think that they'd do whatever they could to avoid the issues within the group itself, but even when avoided, many circumstances lead to a certain result that the group themselves really don't want to have to face right now. The infighting, the war commotion, and the main betrayal that we've been going over for multiple months now all runs back to a path tracing evidence directly onto Paradigm and it seems as though we may finally see what she has done that was so wrong. Maybe we can finally find out who is causing all of this behind that mask. Hey, I'm Tedious, and if you don't want to miss anything that's going on in the Fortnite storyline, make sure to subscribe with the bell to be up to date with pretty much everything that you need to know. But back to Paradigm. No matter what aspect of this character that you look into, Practically everyone knows or has at least heard of the theory that she is the same person as the Singularity who controlled the mech in Chapter 1 Season 9. We may finally have this confirmed in the Paradigm 2.0 upcoming outfit. This was all but a conspiracy theory among the Fortnite community until a week or so ago, when a new item shop glider was popped right into the game's files with barely anything mentioned at all by anyone. The Mecha Team Glider is apparently a piece of Paradigm Certified Mech Surplus Craft. Now, this quite obviously links Paradigm to the Mecha Team Leader, but it really doesn't confirm much until we take a deeper look. Certified has the official definition of the text that reads as follows. Officially recognized as possessing certain qualifications or meeting certain standards. So, it's obviously built to be suited for the Paradigm's specific needs, as it meets the standards that she requires. Now, if that isn't enough proof for you, surplus also means having exactly or more than what you need. So, this craft is certified and more than enough for the Paradigm, and whatever she's getting up to. I know that the people who are more interested in cosmetic and gameplay than storyline will be freaking out and wondering, where is Paradigm? When is she returning? When can I finally buy her in the item shop? Well, I actually highly doubt that the original Paradigm skin will ever be returning into the game. But, that's not to say that she won't have another variant of a skin, and if this new Paradigm or mech-related glider makes its way to the item shop, we can 100% assume that it will come along with a skin as well, right? Well, just earlier today, some new skin surveys were sent out to the community by Epic Games themselves. It involves a skin that looks extremely identical to Singularity's hair and facial shape, who we now know to be the Paradigm as well, and is it a coincidence? Well, I don't think so. The arrow-like symbol that was both on the Paradigm and the Singularity is also on this character. So yeah, it's definitely not just some mistake, remake skin, and it definitely has something to do with the lore of the upcoming Fortnite storyline. All but one tiny piece of evidence leads to a conclusion that this skin is our next step for the character of Paradigm, and that would be her eye colour. I know, I know, a very, very small detail, but it could truly make or break this huge Fortnite theory. Now, in one image, her eyes are brown, and in the other, her eyes are green. For some, this would be enough to cancel the entire theory out, and for others, this wouldn't matter at all. But I'm tedious, so of course I have to look into things, right? That's just basically what I do. It could still be Singularity though, right? Well, yes. And surprisingly, the eye colour changing thing really isn't anything new for the Paradigm in her past, as in Season 9, she was a star character as the Battle Pass's bonus outfit, and with the woman's helmet spread out across the island, her edits were most definitely a storyline related change. In her Der Burger mask edit style, her eyes were blue, so her eyes have actually changed colour before, and it was part of the story. Now that's really interesting. So now we know about the Paradigm's new skin, why she is most likely Singularity, and how she is going to return as an outfit as well. But surely we have to have at least some idea of when this happens, and if I'm honest, I think I've got it fully down. 
The Order is the final member of the Seven that was revealed, who is most definitely arriving towards the end of Season 2. A few days after Season 3 releases, the first Zero War issue which involves this new Seven member will release out into the public, so this new character must be revealed before these comics release, right? Well, yes, and I believe that like Paradigm in Season X, the Order will appear in the shop just before this season ends as a kind of live event skin, if that makes sense. She is said to arrive in a pack or a bundle, so her possibility of staying in the shop for Season 3's release is also pretty likely. But what about Paradigm 2.0? That's what we came here for. Well, yeah, we know that the surveys have been used in the past to tease majority of the Fortnite Battle Pass skins. It's unlikely that the second of the sister would be used in the next Battle Pass to the previous one, and it's also pretty unlikely that the Paradigm would have two versions of her as end of season skins. Like, it just doesn't really make that much sense. So, this character will most likely be arriving in the Chapter 3 Season 3 Battle Pass, with Vader, Indiana, and Prisoner Jones. Or will this character take a little bit longer to return and assist her so-called friends? Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and he may even appear in a future video, just like Luke Gallagher did leading to a video noticed by quite a famous YouTuber, which you should go watch right now to learn a bit more about Singularity, Geno, and how they tie into the sisters' dark pasts. Have a good one, everyone.